Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everyone. This is Pastor Nobles. Search for the Truth Bible Study. Thank you for joining us. God bless you and praise the Lord. <clears throat> praise the Lord, everyone. God bless you. Uh, this is Pastor Nobles, uh, pastor of Greater Believers Worship Center here uh, in the beautiful city of Moultrie, Georgia. We are here. Uh, again, for what? Search for the Truth uh, Bible Study. Hey, y'all. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for allowing us to come into your homes. Uh, thank you for allowing us to be a part of your lives uh, uh, on today. I pray that wherever you're watching this and whenever, I pray that you are experiencing uh, God's presence and where his presence is, there his power is and where his power is, there is his what provision and where his provision is, there's his protection. And guess what? Wherever his presence, power, provision, and protection is, I promise you, uh, you will find uh, God's purpose uh, and plan for your life. So come on in. This is uh, Greater Believers Worship Center. Search for the True Bible Study on tonight. Uh, we're going to begin in probably about three to four minutes. Uh, I pray that wherever you are, I pray that, number one, you have your Bible, your B-L-E, your basic instructions before leaving earth. And also I pray that there's no distractions. Uh, when it come down to Bible study, when it come down to understanding the things of God, uh, God wants you totally to himself. Uh, as a matter of fact, we brought up on yesterday during our Q&A session uh, that prayer, he asked us, uh, when you pray, enter into your closet. And when thou hast shut the door, and everywhere you see where individuals making contact with God uh, through some medium of prayer or worship or Bible study uh, or fasting, it always involves an action. And it always involves what? Getting rid of the distractions around you and then, uh, and then uh, going forth. So thank y'all. Thank y'all. I promise you in the next 45 minutes, you are going to be inspired. You're going to be encouraged. You're going to be engaged. I hope we can, y'all can engage me uh, by saying something, asking questions, giving me some feedback, uh, but and challenge in the Word of God. So I pray that during this time you are encouraged, you are inspired, you are engaged, and I want to challenge you. I'm telling you, if you are not challenged uh, when you come before, when if you are not challenged in the Word of God, then. There's a problem. Why? Because challenge brings growth. Uh, and so we pray all those things that happen on tonight. As you come in, uh, greet us in the name of the Lord Jesus. I am in here in the sanctuary of Greater Believers Worship Center, 824 Northside Drive. Uh, those of you who are in the Moultrie and Calcutt County area, when this is all over and when we start convening, I promise you, you will get the same experience. As, and even more uh, as you get here uh, with me live uh, on Facebook and this social media. Listen, we are one day closer from coming back in. Uh, but there's some things that we got to do, y'all. There's some things that we got to realize. There's some things that's got to take place, I'm afraid, um, for this to end. Uh, I was speaking to someone today, and, and they were just saying, I'm just tired. I'm just tired of dealing with COVID-19 and sheltering in place and dealing with this. Uh, and unfortunately, you know, what I told him, what, what I was, what, what did I tell him? Well, I was just listening. Uh, but what I wanted to tell him was, listen, until God release us, until he move, until he do something, uh, until he do something and we respond appropriately, uh, then it may still be here, y'all. Uh, so I pray that everyone is safe. I pray that you're using some wisdom. 
uh, I pray that uh, that you are masking up. Hey, Mom, thank you for joining us. Hey, Mom and Dad, thank y'all for joining us. Thank you for joining us on tonight. You are one of my biggest uh, supporters, and I thank you for coming on, Mom. Hey, listen, if you have a prayer request right now, those of you who are on, yes, yes, hey, hey, bro, hey, bro, hey, you and sis, thank y'all for joining us. Yes, we are one day closer. Uh, all praise to God. Thank y'all for joining me on band, and those of you who are going to join me on Facebook, uh, thank you. Y'all are also one of my biggest supporters. I'm going to tell you, if there's any encouragement to a man or woman of God, it is having people push him and having people what to hold him or her accountable. Uh, and I'm afraid that's why some of us, that's why some of us uh, are slipping and dipping uh, because there's no one to hold us accountable. And I'm going to tell you, there are plenty of individuals on this live right now that holds me accountable. What does, me, what does that mean? I report to them. Uh, and sometimes that's the reason why some of us uh, haven't went back out because uh, into the world and haven't given up because we have some individuals uh, that's believing in us. So, hey, if you got some prayer requests, uh, put them on, write, write it on the message, write it on the comment, and we're going to begin to pray. And we're going to look in the book of Psalms. Let's go to the Old Testament uh, writing of Psalm. And you saw in the title, I want to do, we're going to go over a survey. God, leave me out of fear God already. Uh, we're going to go over a survey of who God is out of the Psalm. Uh, so let's pray. Uh, we're going to wait just a few minutes. I know there's a lag uh, uh, in, in the... In a moment, if you got a specific prayer request, please let me know. God, we thank you. God, we thank you, Lord. You know, I wish I had that singing voice. One day, God is going to gift me somebody. God, Y'all, somebody put God, gift him to be able to sing melodiously. Now, I be doing it. I be trying. But, you know, you, I, I want to be able to sing melodiously before God. Hallelujah, Lord. God, we thank you, Lord. We worship you. We worship you. Hey, y'all. Uh, give me a second. All right, let's begin to pray, y'all. Let's begin to pray. I had somebody at my door, my sound, my technician came in. Uh, she's late, but she still came in. Uh, pray for our straight in, Chris. Uh, Mom, I'm trying to figure out what you said. Pray for, pray for our, our straight in, Chris. Uh, all right, we're gonna pray. Whatever God, whatever that, that prayer request, Mom, we're gonna, we're just gonna pray. Uh, pray for our strength in Christ. Our strength in Christ. Bam. To the Holy Spirit right there, our strength in Christ. All right, we'll pray that. Y'all, let's pray. Let's go before the throne of grace. Can you shut the door? Can you cut off the TV? Can you cut off the stove? Will you do this? Would you, would you get in your quiet place? Cut off the stove. Cut off the bread. It's burning anyway. Those things that's boiling on the oven, shut them down, y'all. God, we thank you. Let's worship. Let's go before the Lord in worship. Let's go before the Lord in worship and prayer. God, we thank you. We enter into your gates with thanksgiving and we enter into your courts with praise. Thank you on tonight for who you are, Lord. Thank you for watching over us all day long and camping your angels around us. Wherever life had us, God, you had us in mind. And for that, we want to say thank you. God, we thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for the mind to come together, even through social media or in this house. Thank you for the mind to come together. God, thank you for the diligence to sit under your word. God, we thank you for being the God of our salvation and the author to finish up our faith. Thank you for navigating us throughout this day. Thank you for protecting us from seen and unseen dangers. Thank you for supplying our every need. 
Thank you, Lord. Thank you for covering us with your blood and encamping your angels around us. God, we give you all the praise and all the glory. You are the King of kings and Lord of lords. You are Alpha. You are Omega. You are the beginning. You are the ending. You are our Savior. You are our healer. You are our protector. You are our sustainer. God, and we ask, O oh God, that you inhabit our lives right now. We present them as living sacrifices, holy and acceptable, which is our most reasonable service, that we may not be conformed to this world, but we'll be transformed by the renewing of our minds, that we may prove others that good, perfect, and acceptable will of yours. God, thank you for keeping our minds on today. Thank you for keeping our hearts. Thank you for revealing who you are. Thank you for revealing who you are and what we have in you. God, we lay ourselves down upon your brazen altar. Your word declare who shall stand in your holy place. He that has clean hands and pure hearts who have not lifted up their soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully, Lord God, we ask that you forgive us for all our many sins. Oh God, forgive us, purge us with hyssop, cleanse us, and make us white as snow, and renew a right spirit within us. Blot out our transgressions, cleanse us from our iniquities. Forgive us for all our many sins. Forgive us for lusting in the flesh, lusting in the eyes, in the pride of life. Let your blood, which was shed upon Calvary, wash our minds, wash our hearts, wash our hands, Lord. Forgive us for foolish thinking, Lord. Forgive us for doubting. Forgive us for doubting and putting words out that was contrary to what you say about us. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, make, make us righteous before you. God, in the name of Jesus, oh God, we ask that you be with us on this live, Lord. God, supply every need. We ask that, we pray for the strengthening of the Lord. Oh God, to my parents, give them strength, give them divine strength, those that's watching. God, we ask for a special divine strength upon their lives. Oh God, regardless of what they're going through, Lord God, we know that you are greater. God, you are greater, Lord. You are greater. You are greater. You are greater than any problem. You are greater than any situation. You are greater than any lack. You are greater than any, Lord God, illness, sickness. In the name of Jesus, reveal yourself unto us, Lord. Oh God, those that need a healing, reveal yourself as Jehovah Rapha in our lives. For you was wounded for our transgressions and bruised for our iniquities and the chastisement of our peace was upon you and with your stripes we are healed. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, reveal yourself as a strong tower that the righteous can run to it and I may say, reveal yourself as Jehovah Nisi when the enemy coming in like a flood lift up a standard against the Lord. God, we count every covert activity of Satan for naught. We plead the blood of Jesus. Satan, you are a liar in the name of Jesus. Get out of our homes, get out of our lives, get out of our minds. In the name of Jesus, we pray, Lord, you said whatsoever we bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatsoever we loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Oh God, we bind ourselves to your word. We bind ourselves to your will. We bind ourselves to your way. In the name of Jesus, oh God, loose every affliction, loose every doubt, loose every lack. In the name of Jesus, we pray, Lord, we bless you. God, we submit to your presence, your holy divine presence. Have your way, Holy Spirit. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, have your way, have your way in me. Have your way in those that are watching. Have your ways in those that shall watch. Oh God, we ask, oh God, that you keep us, protect us, cover us, enable us. Oh God, speak to our life on tonight, Lord. Save some soul, save some man, save some woman, save some boy, save some girl, Lord. Let this word go out in the airways, in the media, Lord. Oh God, and let it draw some man, some woman, some boy, some girl close to you, let it draw some marriage, let it draw some family close to you, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Lord, we bless your name, Lord. Thank you, Lord. 
God, reveal your word. Open up your word. Illuminate us. In Jesus' name, we pray. Somebody say, in Jesus' name. Somebody say, in Jesus' name. Listen, listen. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, I believe sometimes we need to get out of our agendas and let God have his way. I'm telling you, those of you that know the Lord, those of you that have made contact with him, those of you, we just finished a series about the power of exposure. Those of you who have been exposed to the true and living God and his power, his protection, his provision, you understand what I mean. Man, when you shut that door, when you close out everything, he said, he said this, he said, I, what you do in secret, I will reward you openly. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Come on, let's worship just a little bit. Let's worship, let's worship. Worship is adoring him. Worship is acknowledging who he is. Praise is giving him thanks for what he's done. Worship. Let's worship. Lord, we bless your name. You are the King of kings. You are the Lord of lords. You are Alpha. You are Omega. You are the beginning. You are the ending. Oh, God, you are the almighty God. You're the wonderful. You're the counselor. You're the Prince of Peace. You are the everlasting Father. Hallelujah, we magnify your name. We magnify, we put you above every situation. You are holy, Lord. Holy are you, Lord. Wonderful are you, Lord. Mighty are you, Lord. Gracious are you, Lord. Merciful are you, Lord. Loving are you, Lord. Patient are you, Lord. Forgiving are you, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord, I bless your name, Lord. God, you mean so much to me. The heavens declare your glories. And the firmament shows your handiwork, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, you are my Savior. God, you are the air that I breathe. You are the bread of life, Lord. You are my sustainer. You are my strength. God, you fill it all in all. Hallelujah, Lord, we worship you, Lord. We sing glory to your name, Lord. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. God, I love you, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Y'all, I feel like worshiping. Hallelujah, Lord. You're wondrous, Lord. God, you are a healer, you are a sustainer, you are a provider. Oh, God, you give us a peace that surpasses all understanding. God, you are present help in the time of trouble. God, when the enemy will come in like a flood, you lift up a standard against him. God, you are a battle axe in the time of battle. You are a bridge over troubled waters. You are a refuge. God, you are the rose of Sharon. God, you are the lily in the valley, Lord. You are wonderful, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Rebo, rebo, sini a rebo. Rebo, sini a re, rebo, si. Hallelujah, Lord. I worship you, Lord. Thank you for salvation. Thank you for deliverance. Thank you for strengthening. Strength, thank you for being a healer. Thank you for being a sustainer. Thank you for being a provider. God, I worship you, Lord. I worship you. I worship you. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Now, those of you that know me know. Oh, yes, this, this ain't play play here. Hallelujah, Lord. 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 God, you're awesome. You're awesome. 
You're awesome, Lord. God, you're awesome. God, you're awesome, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Rebosi. God, you're awesome, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. I don't know. I don't know about you, but I don't care where you at. You ought to worship. God, you're awesome, Lord. Lord, he's an awesome God. Lord, I submit to you. God, I submit to you, Lord. You are my Lord. You are Lord of Lords. You are King of Kings. God, you are Lord. You are Lord. You are Lord. Somebody worship him. Just say, you are Lord. Close your eyes. Lift your hands. Wherever you at, wherever you at, wherever you're doing, I promise you, lift your hands. Hallelujah, Lord. God, you dwell in the midst of worship. You dwell, you inhabit the praises of your people. God, you're awesome. There is none like you, Lord. There is none beside you, Lord. God, you're a savior, you're a Lord. God, you're a Lord. You know what? I'm telling you, I'm telling you, we, we, can, we can actually tap into the sound of heaven, heaven on tonight. God, you Lord. He's Lord, y'all. God, you Lord. You know what that means? That He is in control. Hallelujah, Lord. God, you Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Somebody ought to say, Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. God, we submit to you. We submit to you, Lord. Send your divine presence. Send your divine anointing, Lord. We submit to your presence. Holy are you, Lord. Righteous are you, Lord. Loving are you, Lord. God merciful are you, Lord. Gracious are you, Lord. Long suffering, patience are you, Lord. Forgiving are you, Lord. Sustaining are you, Lord. Peaceful are you, Lord. Godly, Lord. Mm -mm. Oh, my God. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Hallelujah, Lord. God has come. Mm -mm. Y'all, I'm trying to get in the book. God, I'm trying to get in the book. God rebo sele de 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 bo si ni a re que le rebo si. Oh Lord, you were the Lord. I submit. I submit, Lord. Do what you want to do, Lord. This is not my time. This is yours. You are time. You are Alpha and Omega. You are sovereign. You are all knowing. You are all powerful. You are omnipresent. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. God, Rebo, Sele, Rebo, see. Somebody ought to covenant with me. I, I don't know who you are. I, I don't know who you are. But somebody ought to covenant with me in worship. God, you Lord. God, you Lord. Lord, I bless your name. He's come. That we may have life and that life more abundantly. Hallelujah, Lord. All right, y'all. All right. God, your Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Disrupt this life, Lord. Provide a divine interruption of this life. God, seek your divine interruption. Interrupt this life. Interrupt our homes. Interrupt our parents. Golly. 
Lord, interrupt us. We need a divine interruption. Just interrupt it. We, I'm telling you, we need a divine interruption. Lord, I bless your name. God, your Lord. Y'all, listen. I, you know what? You know what? I don't know about you, but we were created to worship. Our entire life should be an attitude of worship. Do anybody know what I'm talking about? Our entire being. He said, let everything that hath breath praise him. If you are breathing, then you were designed. A, a, he wouldn't be God if he didn't have worshipers. We talked about that last Thursday where Jesus approached this woman at the well in John, and she was coming out of there out of traditionalism. And Jesus divinely interrupted the whole pattern of things. You know what? Isn't it exciting when we think we're on a course, we think that something is happening and we think we're stuck in a place or we, we uh, can't get out of it, and he come and give us a divine interruption. Do, do y'all hear what I'm saying? He, we need God to provide a divine interruption. He need to interrupt, I, I don't, you know, to stop the flow. Get out of this, you know, even sometimes this life can, we can take that for granted. We can take for granted just like we did, we took coming into the house of worship for granted. Can I tell y'all something? We can start taking things like this for granted. Being able to make contact with your man or woman of God or a man or woman of God to hear the word in the convenience of your own home, in the convenience of your car. You know, we can begin to take that for granted. You know, I think, you know, we hear y'all. You know what? We might as well... You know what? I might as well go and flow where he want me to go. Yeah, ain't, ain't no sense in me. Ain't no sense in me trying to continue with what I thought. Let, let me, let's go back to that incident in John chapter number four. Where, and what we see, John chapter number four, y'all, we was here on Thursday. We'll, we'll talk about who God is in the Psalms, perhaps on some other time. But let's go to John chapter number four. Because here we see Jesus interrupting the flow and pattern of every situation, every person. Can I tell you something? I need for God to interrupt some things. And what's an interruption? It means stop the course or flow of something. Because when he provides the divine interruption, that means that is a moment that cannot be taken for what? Granted. Somebody said, don't take these, write this down. Don't take these moments like this for granted. Please don't. Let me say it again. Do not take moments like this for granted. Because when we start getting what? Content and complacent. And when we start taking things for granted, Perhaps some things. Mm -mm. Y'all go to John chapter number four. We've heard this taught. We've heard this preached. But I believe that we need to slow it down. We need to slow it down and actually look at what was happening. Look at this divine interruption that Jesus caused in traditionalism. Number one. The Bible says in John chapter number four, verse number one through and two, that the Pharisees and the Sadducees were, were trying to put Jesus in competition with John based on who baptized the most. And the scripture says in verse number three, because of that that competition 
amongst the self-righteous, Jesus left the area. We brought it up. If you want God to leave the presence of a situation, leave the presence of a family, a marriage, a relationship, a church, a community, a nation, start creating competition amongst those of us who should know. You know, who get the most likes? Who got the greatest following? You, can I tell y'all this? We need, to, we need to stop all this. We're in competition now of who can do the best on social media. A bunch of gimmicks. No. No. That's perhaps why we in this situation now because we was, we was having competition amongst the self-righteous. Watch this. The first interruption he did was in John chapter number four was the folk was trying to, trying to figure out who baptized more, Jesus or John the Baptist. And Jesus didn't even do any baptism. His disciples did all his baptisms. And then verse number four, it says he must needs go through Samaria. And one of the things that didn't happen was people did not connect with the outcasts, the Samaritans. So here we see another divine interruption in John chapter number four, where Jesus not only got out of the area because of competition amongst the self-righteous, he said, I'm now going to go to the outcast, Samaritans that mixed race of individuals that God told his chosen people don't get involved in. But the scripture says in John chapter number four that Jesus had to go through Samaria. And he met a woman at the well. Here is another divine interruption because in verse number nine, she says, Then said the woman of Samaria to him, How is it thou being a Jew, asketh me, which is Samaritan, Samaria, a woman of Samaria, for the Jews have no dealings? Jesus asked her for a drink of water, and she missed the divine. You know she had to come here often. She came in her same usual way and pattern. And I guarantee you this, when she came to the well, nobody else was there because this woman, as we know, was doing some stuff and she, nobody wanted to be connected with her. So she ended up at the well alone. She wasn't expecting for Jesus to be there. Can I tell you something? Jesus can show up in the most inopportune times. But we miss it because we're stuck in a tradition. Can I tell y'all something? Every day you wake up, God allow you to navigate in this earth realm. You ought to be asking, what's different and how are you going to reveal yourself different today, Lord, than yesterday? Mm -mm. I'm already there. Jesus told her, you know what? Another divine interruption. Can I give y'all this? We're talking about divine interruptions. Jesus asked for her something to drink. That wasn't a customary practice. Because he said in verse number 10, if you knew the gift of God and who is it that says, give me to drink, you will have asked of him. So Jesus now teaching her to what? To what? Capitalize on this moment. I'm telling you, I don't care if we're shutting in place in the midst of a pandemic, COVID-19. I don't care. Capitalize on every moment God gives you. Are we capitalizing 
Oh, his presence. Whenever you get in prayer, whenever you get in worship, whenever you study his word, whenever you do something spiritual, you must capitalize on that moment. Because he, all, God is always waiting to reveal himself to us. Here we see it. She missed it. She was so focused on the fact that Jews have no dealings with the Samaritans. She missed it. Some of your greatest blessings, some of your greatest moves of God can come in moments that what? Break tradition. Somebody say, break tradition. Break your habit. Break your, break it. Break the pattern. I'm telling you, those, those members that's part of Greater Believers Worship Center know that I, I expect God to do something different. Every time I get on here live, every time we gather, I want God to do something different. Don't get stuck. Break the tradition. Watch this. We're talking about divine interruptions. Golly, man. Then she want to say, Sir, you talking about giving me water. How you gonna give me some water and you don't have nothing to draw water with? Mm, she missing it. Somebody say, she missing it. Can I tell you something? Right now, some of us are missing it. God is trying to introduce something fresh. God is trying to give you a divine interruption, but you are missing it. Capitalize on the time. Verse number 11, the woman said to him, Sir, thou hast nothing to draw with, and the well is deep. From whence then hast thou that living water? Verse number 12, then she going to refer back to her ancestors. Art thou greater than our father Jacob, who gave us the well and drank there himself, and the children and the now she want to compare it. Hey, hey, Charlene, thank you for joining us. Now she want to refer back to her ancestry. She refers back to the past to deal with the present, and that don't work. Especially when it comes to a new, fresh, divine interruption from God. Can I tell y'all something? Yesterday's revelation of who he is is yesterday's. I want a fresh revelation of who God is today. Y'all, I'm trying not to get into worship. Golly, Lord. I'm trying not to get into worship. Hallelujah, Lord. Mm -mm. Lord, I want a fresh revelation of who you are today. What Jesus said is, the water I'm giving you, you will never thirst again. What he was, he called her out. Because you keep coming back to this well out of traditionalism and you keep being thirsty. Do y'all not know when God shows up, when Christ shows up in a special way, it appeals not to the flesh. It first appeals to the spirit. The spirit is the eternal side. God shows up and gives us divine revelation and divine exposure and the divine interruptions to what? Help us out eternally. Because tradition only benefits temporarily. But when he shows up, he gives you a divine interruption to break patterns, to break traditions. It is for eternity. He says this, whosoever drinketh of this water shall thirst again. But whosoever drink of the water I shall give him shall never thirst. Can I tell you the reason why individuals, yes, in him we live and move, yes. Can I tell you why individuals 
are never satisfied. Individuals are content, complacent. Can I tell you why? Because they are drinking of Dale dead stale waters. He said, this water that I should give you, it shall be a well springing up into everlasting life. Can I tell you something? It's called flow. It is called flowing. Flowing water is always refreshing versus what? Steel waters. She finally understand because something Jesus said appealed to her eternally. When God speaks to you, when he shows up, it's talking about eternity. Y'all ain't helping me. She says in verse number 15, we in John 4 and 15, he says, she did say, give me this water that I never thirst again. Watch this. Neither come here to draw. Can I tell you why some of us are stuck in patterns of tradition? Because we are tapping into the wrong waters. Good night. It is time to tap into the right waters, the right flow. And when you find it, you appreciate it. Good night, man, y'all. Mm -mm. She says, give me this water that two things that I never thirst again because I'm looking for something to quench my thirst. Can I tell you something? I believe everybody that's on here tonight is looking for something much greater to quench that thirst, that spiritual thirst. Jesus used something naturally to describe what is going on in the spirit. We are first spirit. Everything that happens first in our lives is in the spirit realm before it manifests into what natural. Y'all see that? She says, the woman said unto him, sir, give me this water that I not neither come here to draw, that I thirst not. She was tired of come. She was tired of drinking something that wasn't quenching her thirst. Are you tired of associating and exposing yourself to something that's not satisfying your thirst? The worst thing you can do is go in the store and buy, and buy stale bread and come back to the same store two weeks later to buy some other stale bread. You have to, somebody said, you have to make a decision. Jesus challenged her to do something different, to accept something different. Can I tell you something? Jesus is challenged all of us to something different. Y'all heard it. I, I, I'm sorry, I had to get my little worship in. Mmm. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Are y'all listening? Do you hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying? I mean, I'm, I'm serious. Do you hear? No, 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 no. Do you hear? No, -uh -uh. do you hear the heart of God? Are you listening? We're in John chapter number four. We're talking about divine interruptions. Lord, divine interruptions. Interrupt everything, Lord. I pray that those of you on here, I pray that God will give you from this day forth divine interruptions. Him revealing himself in areas that you don't even know. I don't care where it is. I need a divine interruption because there's a pattern, there's a flow that I need God to stop. There's a current, there you go, that I need God to interrupt. 
There's a pattern that needs, to, God, I need you to interrupt. I'm tired. I'm tired of going to the doctor for the same thing. I'm tired of being hooked up to monitors. I need a divine interruption. Mm -mm. Uh-oh. I'm tired of listening. Yes. Insanity. Thank you, Lewis. What, what, Abbott, what, uh, yeah, Albert Einstein said, if you keep doing the same thing over and over again, expect the same, different results, that's insane. Y'all, he's challenging us. And guess what? We are in midst of divine interruption. And he's saying, hey, listen. I want to give you something that'll stop you from coming back to the same area, trying to get the same feel. Honey, my worship got to be different from yesterday. My prayer got to be different from yesterday. If I pray this morning, my prayer this evening have to be different. Can I tell you something? Look for the divine interruption. Good God of mine, I feel it. Look for God. I mean, look for it. Don't settle for nothing less than a divine inner. God, I need you. God, I need you to interrupt it. I'm tired of giving away my money. And it's not producing for me. Interrupt it. I'm tired of hearing the same old, same old. I need a divine. And when he interrupts it, don't fight against it. Y'all finna, y'all, y'all, here it is. I'm there now. This woman said, she finally realized, sir, give me this water that I thirst not. And coming here back and forth, trying to quench it. What is in your life? Here you go. I got to close. What is in your life that you keep running back to? That God is trying to interrupt it. Lord, I pray that everyone that's listening to me, everyone that is watching, everyone that shall watch, will receive a divine interruption in their lives. Divine interruption. Not worldly, divine in their lives. In their marriages, in their families, in their homes, in their bodies, in their finances, on their job, in their schools, in their decision making. Lord have mercy. Oh y'all getting it. The nerve of her that when Jesus is trying to reveal something different, she quotes her ancestry. Yes, traditions. No. That worked then. But this is now. Be willing. God, I got to go, y'all. Y'all know where I'm going. Y'all almost know when this is over with what I'm going to do. And I'm going to tell you, I'm finna worship and I'm finna pray. I'm finna lay on my face. I'm finna worship and I'm going to yield to what God, what I feel. Golly, Lord. Lord, I feel like praising and worshiping. Yeah, comfortable and complacent. Just, just, and, and Jesus showed up at the well and just introduced a whole nother pattern of worship. That's why she said, watch this in verse number 20. Our fathers worship in this mountain. And ye say that in Jerusalem is the place where men ought to worship. Where they come from? Why are you trying to pick a debate? You see how flesh reacts when God, listen, flesh always want to return back to the familiar. 
Because that's the place of comfort. That's the place of comfort. And God ain't worried about you being comfortable. Then he says, woman, believe me. The hour cometh when you ain't going to worship in this mountain nor Jerusalem. Because worship has nothing to do with a place. He said, you worshiping and you don't even know what you're worshiping in verse number 22. But the hour cometh and now is. The hour coming and now is. So he deals with present tense and future tense all at the same time. Didn't I tell you something? When God speaks, when God moves, when he interrupts, he speaks to the present and the future eternity. Y'all, y'all getting this. Lord help us. I gotta go, y'all. I gotta go. It's seven. It's, I, I gotta go. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm going. But I want to challenge everyone. I want to challenge you to accept divine interruptions. Sometimes God is bringing in new relationships to break tradition patterns. Because those old relationships didn't help. They got stale. And you kept giving, going, giving, coming, giving, giving, giving. But your thirst was never quenched in that relationship. Connect yourself. Connect yourself to individuals that what? That's going to what? Pour into you instead of what? Subtract. Y'all, I wasn't even intending to talk about this tonight. But God interrupted it. Now, I talked about it on Thursday. But I didn't know I was going to come in. I was going to move on. So I'm going to stay in that vein. Because God wanted to do a divine interruption. We this, this John chapter number four is the biggest example of hanging on to tradition for the sake of it. Watch this. She had all this stuff going on in her life. She, Jesus called her out. You got five husbands. You're sleeping with every, everybody. She had all this foolishness going on. But yet, she was hanging. The worst thing you can have is to be having a lot of stuff going on that you need to deliver from and expecting tradition to deliver you. Uh-oh. Watch this. Somebody write this down. Tradition doesn't deliver. Tradition does not deliver for today. Write that down. Tradition doesn't deliver for today. Tradition hinders today. God, we thank you. Lord, we glorify you, we magnify you. Thank you for opening up your scriptures unto us, Lord. God, we count it a privilege. This is a privilege, Lord. Thank you for the divine interruption. Thank you for the privilege to sit under your word. Thank you for the privilege to sit in worship. Thank you, Lord, for the gathering of believers. Thank you for opening up your mind to us. Thank you for talking to us on tonight. God, we count it a privilege for divine revelation and illumination of your scriptures. God, let this rest on our hearts. Let the seed rest on good ground. Let it be watered in worship and prayer. Let it grow roots. And let it break up the fellow grind in our lives and bear fruit, Lord. God, I pray that everyone that heard this 
God, I pray that they will overcome the challenge of tradition. God, I pray that you give them divine interruptions, new experiences, new relationships that's going to profit them present and in the future. God, we thank you. God, we thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Hey, y'all. Yes. Hey, y'all. Guess what? It's time to go. Listen. Thank you for allowing me, allowing the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God, to speak to you on tonight. Thank you. I take it out of, you know, I don't take it for granted. I know you could, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Those of you who would love to sow, give an offering, whatever, you can, you can bless this ministry and bless the word. Dollar sign through cash up, dollar sign, greater believers, WC. I hope you was blessed. I hope there was something about this time that that interrupted man god totally interrupted this i was going y'all saw in the, in the in the in the in the title a survey of who god is from the song god is my light god is my shepherd i'm going to talk about that reminding you who he is because that's another thing we need to be reminded of who god is in this time and i love the songs because song speaks the heart. They're talking their heart. One minute they're praising God, next minute they're asking God to get rid of the enemies, next minute they're depressed. It's real. Song is real. We got to be reminded that. Perhaps we'll come back on Sunday. Or perhaps I'll do it impromptu. Y'all, I love you. Y'all, I want y'all to be successful in the things of God. Y'all hear me? It's time for success. It's time for forward progress in the things of God. I'm telling you. Last but not least, I'm not going to come out of COVID-19 pandemic the same way I came in. Something got to be different. My worship, my prayer, my dedication, my disciplines. Y'all be blessed. Thank you for joining us. Remember, greater is he that is within you than he that's in the world. This is Pastor Nobles. Y'all, I got to go. Love y'all.